see the overall trend for market has been positive over past uh, seven to eight trading sessions rather uh, because you can clearly see since 23rd june when nifty was around 15400 levels post that we have not seen a single close which has been below the prior day low now that's a very simple trend following method so we have not seen a close below prior day low and we are seeing gaps that is happening even a day before we had a gap now yesterday and today also so this looks like uh, the trend is positive for now but buying at this level looks a lit, uh, little risky given that uh, there can be some profit booking uh, after a sharp run up so we can buy on dips that can be the strategy so any dips towards the level of 16140 can be a good uh, level to enter into the market again keeping 16060 as a stop loss and then expecting a target of 16300 on the upside so the current scenario looks like buy on dips to me uh, but i would be very uh, fast in changing the stand in case 16050 breaks on the downside just in case that happens then we might want to look for uh, shorting opportunities all right so for now it's a buy on dip strategy with the target at 16300 ashish uh, take us through some of the individual stocks also that you are looking at right now would you have any trades sure uh, the first one is uh, Larson and Tubro. We can clearly see after a, uh, after many days or weeks, we can see a good momentum building up in the stock, and it has managed to also sustain about that 16,040 resistance level, which was near the pre prior week. So uh, we can clearly see that LT can be a good buy at these levels uh, with a stop loss of 1,608 and target of 1,785 on the upside. And the next stock on the buy side is going to be Godfrey Flip. We can see this sector has been outperforming now. After forming a low somewhere around 1,020 odd levels, we have seen a clear higher high, higher low as per Dow theory that indicates that the trend on the upside is starting. It's managing to cross that 20 days moving average also, and the volumes are decent enough. So I think Godfrey Philip can give a good upside uh, possibility for a target of 1180 for the with a stop loss of 1,060 on the downside. Just before we let you go, Ashish wanted your thoughts on two stocks. Titan, which has gained 9% at uh, on a week-to-date basis, and ONGC, which has lost further. It's down 7% this week. Uh, see, if you look at overall Titan, uh, we had a very huge gap from that 2,000 levels uh, towards to 100, and then it is consolidating. Now, And the gap is sustained, uh, and this was just after a huge volumes also. So that's a very good sign. So as long as I think the gap towards the level of 2090 is protected, the trend will be positive. Some sideways action is expected, post which we should go towards the level of 2250. That will be the target on Titan. And the stop loss can be kept at around 2070 levels on the downside. As far as ONGC is concerned, we can clearly see that the stock has been in a downward trajectory for quite some time. There is just absolutely no uh, buying that is emerging. Even today, there was an attempt to open higher but we can see a red candle again, which is taking it lower. So avoid buying this stock. I would rather use this pullback as a shorting opportunity for a trend towards 110 on the downside, as long as 130 remains intact. 